Introduction to Microsoft Excel for Beginners Part A Dear viewers, welcome to Arif's Education TV and my Excel class, Introduction to Excel for Beginners. This is mainly for beginners who have never used Excel before. We need Excel for our personal life through to work life. If you study at a school, college, university or want to work in finance, accounts, administration, HR, customer service, marketing or any project in an office environment, you need to have basic to intermediate level of Excel knowledge. You can record financial and non-financial data or information in Excel in order to maintain and prepare various reports such as sales reports, purchase reports, invoice registers, budget reports, profit and loss accounts, balance sheets, cash flow reports, etc. etc. For your personal life as well, you may need to calculate and record different bills and payments or even various income related information. Excel allows you to write numbers in different cells to manually or, it, or automatically add, deduct, multiply or divide accurately and systematically by using various formulas. You can also create tables, graphs and charts to present your reports better. So at the end, we all must agree that Excel is live for whatever purpose you use. You need to be dependent on it actually, especially when you are at work or at education. So let's learn a lot of interesting things. Dear viewers, uh, as soon as you open uh, Excel, you should see a page like this. So basically we call it a workbook. So this is the main file where we'll be working. So first of all, I would like to ask you to actually save the file so you actually save it you know on your computer so you click at the top left hand corner you know just here and then you should see save as these days you can see a lot of options to choose but I will simply ask you to choose Excel workbook and um, I know it can be a bit confusing what to do with this especially for beginners so what you should do actually, you should look for desktop. So that's where you can actually save it. So you can, um, you know, choose desktop. Then you should name your file. So I can call it uh, Arif's file. Uh, you know, maybe I can call it Arif's TV file, for example. Uh, one and then you save it you know by clicking um, on your mouse so once you have saved it so you have done one step that's good then secondly i would like to um, introduce you to the sheets so um, basically uh, there are three sheets open by default sheet one sheet two and sheet 3 then if you need more sheets you can actually click next to it it will automatically pop up as sheet 4 so you can actually you know put a lot of financial and non-financial information you know different ways in each of these so basically let's say if we take the example of sheet 1 so what you can do actually you know within sheet 1 is basically like you can actually put a lot of information like you can type 100, 200, 50, 70 you can type you know in each of the sheets now you go to sheet 2 you can do the same thing you can probably write different names like David, Linda, George uh, you know uh, maybe <coughs> Cindy so you can type it with different names here. But now going with the sheet one, um, you know, like you type different you know, numbers. So each number, each of the numbers here is in a cell. So it's a cell. So this is cell. So this is column A, column B, column C, 
and this is actually row 1, row 2, row 3. Now when I say this 100, this is actually located in cell A1. This is now in cell A2. This is here now in cell A3, I mean 50. And 70 is in uh, cell A4. So that's why, actually the reason we call it cell, because it's coming from, you know, Excel. So that's why you call it Excel. So the cell is there. So that's how we can actually remember. So again, this is column A, B, C, D. And this is row 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's how you actually do. So now, once you actually go across all of the columns, then you go through this. So here is a bar, and it's called a scroll bar. We can also call it like, um, you know, horizontal uh, bar. So you can actually go this way to see actually more columns. At the same time, you know, like, if you go all the way down as you type, you should go down so you can see the scroll bar here. So it's actually known as a, a vertical bar or just the scroll bar. So to be you know simpler. So now I just want to quickly go through. So this whole area is called ribbon. Okay. So you can see here uh, the menu. So basically in the menu you can see home insert. Uh, page layout, formula, data, review, view. So obviously, each of them you click, you can see different functions, you know, that you can use actually. I know it's a lot for you for now, but um, day by day, I'm sure you get to learn all of this. Now, first of all, we need to understand the basic, okay, the fundamental of Excel. So, um, <clears throat> this is like the title bar where you can see the title of your, um, you know, file. You know that the name you save this you can put your name you know and you can save it here it's a formula bar you know that when you calculate the formulas then you know it should pop up here okay so different things you know so i'll just quickly show you here if you look at this you know so you can see that this is called toolbar here okay this is title bar as i told before this is the ribbon, the whole area is highlighted. This is formula bar, and each of them, like you know, A, B, C, D, they are the columns. You know, the scroll bars, you know, zoom bars. You can see here, this is you know, zooming, how you can, you know, as you drag across, you can actually, you know, make things bigger and smaller. You know, they are the worksheets, as I spoke, spoke about before, you know. These are the rows, each of them is known as a cell. So each cell is actually individual, obviously. This is the name box where you can see that where you are, you know, what cell you are, you know, working on. So basically, you know, this is the quick introduction about the, you know, the, the page. So now, you know, going forward, so I typed here before 100, 200, you know, 50, 70. We can treat them like different numbers, obviously. Now, you know, obviously it's very difficult to actually calculate, you know, um, you know, um, on your head. So uh, that's why Excel is so useful. What you can do, you can actually, you know, add them up. Okay. So I mean to say that 100, 250, 70. So you may have a lot of other numbers, like let's say, you know, 60, uh, like 3. 300 so we can call them like you know the dollars for example so what we can do we can actually highlight so how we highlight here is we click 100 okay on your mouse then you actually hold your mouse so the left click and drag so please try while um you know you watch my show here so and then once this is done you click on the you know 300 then you look at the top right hand corner where it says auto sum. That means this is going to add. Look at this. As soon as you do this, you know, there is a new uh, you know, little screen here popping up. Just just look here. So it's showing actually what it's going to do. So as soon as you click, you know, you should see that the whole thing is, you know, like highlighted in a way, you know, the dotted thing. And then you can hit enter on your keyboard. Okay. Then this is the total. So basically, you got 780 
you know this is the total of from 100 through to 300 so how you got it uh, here like if you look I'll just explain that as well just double click on 780 so it will show equal sum so I must tell you one thing that any Excel formula you know it starts with equal sign so you have to put an equal sign and then you can see the sum then a1 this is a1 I told you before and then you put a colon then a6 so basically it's actually adding you know from a1 through to a6 okay and within the bracket so I'm going to show you in a different way so let's delete 780 so you can delete you know um, by pressing on the keyboard the delete function so what you can do as I said you can put equal sign then you click on your mouse again click so left click not right if you're a right hander and if you're a left hander obviously it will be the other way around so you click 100 so uh, I made a mistake so you put equal sign then you type sum so you have to because you are summing this up then you put the bracket which is located you know um, on number nine so obviously where you can see number nine on the keyboard just above it there is a bracket so you have to you know um, press shift then uh, that number nine and then you click 100 here then you put the colon on your keyboard which is situated generally under P next to L the letter okay then you actually click the last number which is 300 so automatically it will give you the range between a1 colon through to a6 then you actually close the bracket okay by doing again the same way so the shift key on your keyboard then the close of the bracket which is actually on uh, zero on your keyboard okay so you hit enter after that on your keyboard then it will give you 700 so you can actually do one thing to make sure that you know this number is total so you can click bold here as you put the cursor on b it will say bold and you click it so you have actually done it okay so this is like you know like that's how you actually do the addition so again you look at this in the formula bar so equal sum a1 colon a6 now we are going to learn how to do the deduction so basically the minus okay so what we can do let's say do here so you put let's say 500 and you put let's say 150 so basically we all know it will give us 350 but how we can use the formula again equal sign then you click on 500 okay it's very simple formula then you press the minus sign which is located um, you know on your keyboard as well so uh, if you have a num lock on your keyboard you should see it you know on the right hand side of the keyboard so you click you know minus sign then you click on 150 because you're deducting you know uh, 150 from 500 okay so you hit actually enter so it gives you 350 so uh, I actually bold it if you want to you know make it italic you can actually click italic look at this so it will make it a little bit you know the angle sort of thing okay so at any time if you want to go back to your previous step that you want to undo your work you can always click undo here you can see you know basically a lot to learn here dear viewers so now we are going to learn how to do multiplication so let's say you put 50 here and you put 5 so you want to multiply 50 by 5 how you do it again you hit equal sign you click 50 then you can find the multiplication sign you know on your num lock obviously on the keyboard so you press it then you click 5 okay it will give you a simple multiplication so you got 250 so that's how you should do a lot of practice otherwise you know uh, you can't get used to you know using the, these formulas and functions okay we can also learn how to do uh, the division so obviously 
uh, is also not that difficult either, as you know how to do multiplication. So let's say we type uh, 300, okay, and we put, let's say we want to divide it by 30, for example. So you hit equal sign, okay, then you click 300, then you put the division sign, which is next to multiplication sign on your number, and then you hit, I mean, you click 30 on your, um, you know, using your uh, mouse, and you hit enter, okay, so it gives you 10, okay. Dear viewers, uh, now we are going to uh, learn how to put dollar sign. Like, um, you know, like all these numbers here, like 100 through to 780. So what we can do, first of all, we can actually uh, click, I mean, left click on mouse uh, on 100. And while, you know, keeping it clicked, so we can actually uh, drag down up to 780, you know, like before and click the dollar sign here. So we can actually see this, this column is having dollar sign you know next to each of the numbers and we can you know also uh, you know highlight the columns across so we can again you know um, left click on mouse and you know drag across you know by highlighting all the columns where there are numbers and we can click uh, dollar sign again so this will give us you know all these things and now I know uh, you know you can see all these like they don't seem to be quite big, I mean in numbers, so we can actually view and we can actually learn another function called zoom here to make things slightly bigger, like we can put here, uh, like for example, 150, uh, for example, and hit enter and it gives you, you know, bigger numbers, you know, the, the bigger page, I would say, okay. So one of the important things that as you continue to work on your work file uh, or workbook, um, you know, you should actually keep saving at the top left hand corner, you know, and anytime if you want to close your file, you can click at the top left hand corner again, and you can see different uh, options to choose from, so you can choose the bottom one which is close, you know, and this will actually, you know, close the file, and if you want to reopen the file, you go back to your um, folder, any folder, then look for desktop, and you can choose, um, you know, the file you want to work, so let's say RSTD file that you are working on. You know, likewise, you can work on Sheet 2, you know, Sheet 3, Sheet 4. So once you save, you know, then it will actually save the entire file. So, um, you know, basically, uh, like, you know, when you actually save for the first time, the file that you actually say, uh, for example, save as, and then, you know, as you continue to work, you actually keep, uh, you know, saving here at the top. So to make sure that your file is not lost, you know, uh, in case. So viewers, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Um, so I'd like to come back to you again soon with part B on introduction to Excel. And till then, take care and, you know, enjoy your time and enjoy uh, practicing Excel. Please subscribe yourself to Arif's Education TV and set an email alert to get an update on the next video clip.